Hello beautiful souls, this is your reading for now. Hello sweet souls from all over the cosmos. We're going to find out what secrets the universe wants to whisper into our ears today. What is it that you want answered? Ask the question in your mind. Take a nice deep breath. Center yourself. And let's get into it. Alright. Dear Universe, what would you like to tell us today? Fairies, Earth Magic. So the elemental world is opening up for us right now. We may start seeing uh, visions in, the, in our peripheral vision. We might be noticing things disappearing from our houses, going missing. The keys that we left here might be found somewhere else. Little things that you know that you didn't do. Like I've been looking for my selenite ball for about three weeks now. No idea where it is. I blame them. <laughs> so be aware of things that are happening around you and you might even catch a glimpse of one. And this isn't just the fairies, this is everything that is fae, everything that is elemental, which is fire, water, air, earth, any of these things, any of these beings that are associated with the elements. Which also means that we are becoming closer connected to the elements themselves, like we might be able to understand the flow of water better, or understand the movement of fire, or understand the importance of grounding, or understand the importance of our breath. These kind of things are also what is coming out when the fairies come to talk to us. Also, working in our gardens, or work, working with plants, growing forests, planting forests, replanting old, dead, burnt, drowned vegetation that has died, that we have the power to revive. When we work with these elements, we will gain friends in the elemental realms. Now we'll take one of these little cards. Dear Universe, what would you like to tell us right now? Light candles and have a hot bath with lavender and Epsom salts. Soak. It's time for self-love, puppies. It's time to give back to yourself. Because we cannot give out of an empty cup, can we? No, we can't. We need to be full within ourselves so that we have the capacity to help other people. And the best way to do it is to just have a bath. It doesn't cost much and most people have the ability to do this. Most people have a bath in their homes. If you don't have a bath, go to the beach and swim. Just get immersed in the element of water. Allow water to do its healing job and cleanse your internal system with its superpower. Let's find out what else the universe wants to tell us. The Rainbow Prince. Compensation. Perseverance. Number 26. Angel number 26. By angelnumber.org. The number 26 is a blend of energies and symbolisms of the number 2 and 6. The number 2 resonates with the symbolism of service, duty, duality, balance, harmony, diplomacy, adaptability, faith, trust and selflessness. It is also a number which symbolizes the divine soul's purpose. The number six is a number symbolizing nurturing, love, responsibility, honesty, integrity, reliability, teaching, gratitude, grace, financial aspects, home and family life. The essential symbolism of the number 26 is related to business and business matters. This number also signifies balance, material accumulation, relationships, diplomacy, teamwork, family, home and harmony. Number 26 people are often good business people. They enjoy the process of the creation of things that last and have value for the society. 
such as buildings, bridges, roads, institutions, and procedures. This number also symbolizes the accumulation of material wealth and abundance. These people are usually very good at handling their own money, as well as other people's. They are efficient, pragmatic, and good at managing a team to achieve a common goal, which is creating something lasting. The number 26 is a building number. It builds and creates. People with prominent number 26 in their lives are very balanced and good at teamwork, especially as the directors of a team. When the angel number 26 appears in your life, it reminds you to have faith that you will be always provided for by the universe. This number encourages you to follow your divine guidance and maintain a positive outlook on things. This number calls you to be cooperative and to be a positive example to others. It symbolizes joy and happiness in all aspects of life. It is also a number of financial abundance and prosperity. It also indicates home and family happiness and happy relationships filled with love. This number sometimes warns you to be aware of your thoughts and prevent negativity from overwhelming you. Remember to think positive thoughts and erase all fears. Otherwise, you will attract the things and outcomes you fear. Keep yourself filled with thoughts of happiness and abundance, and that's what you will attract in your life. Surround yourself with joyful and positive people who will always encourage you to remain on the right track and help you overcome possible obstacles. The numbers 2 and 6 equals 8, and the number 8 represents balance and things of lasting value and use for society. The number 2 and 6 add to this number the symbolism of di diplomacy, teamwork, and companionship, as well as home life, harmony, and family. If the number 26 is an important number for you, you are probably very well in business and financial matters. Often you will have a desire to create something of lasting value for the society. When you suddenly start seeing the angel number 26 everywhere, it is probably the universe asking you to find harmony and balance in your life. This number can also be an announcement of abundance and wealth coming soon into your life. The angels are sending you a message that your efforts will soon be rewarded with financial abundance. What the Rainbow Prince is telling you is that everything that you have worked towards, you will get compensated, even though it feels like you have been slogging hard and re receiving nothing in return. This card comes out to tell you that the universe notices you, sees you, and will give you the remuneration that you desire and deserve. So persevere. Don't stop now. Don't stop while you're ahead because you are ahead and you will find the day where the rainbow and the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow lands gently into your lap. Now another message from the universe. When in doubt, I play it out. When last did you play? Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Laugh, giggle like a child. Your inner child needs to play. And when your inner child is happy and is playing, then you are in line and your spirit is free to express itself much better than it was before. So you're being asked now to remember to play. Don't forget to give your inner child what it wants and what it needs because you are one. If you are working so hard and you're not getting rewarded, you start to feel like you are running on empty and you're still working through it. You need to pause, relax, soak and play. Literally just Give in to the universe and say, I've done all I can. I am going to go out and play now. I'm going to go running on the mountain, playing in the forest, swimming in the ocean with the dolphins and the whales, whatever it is you want to do. And you know who else likes playing? The Fae. They love playing. And when they see you playing, they will play too. Number 27 is another message. Forgive yourself and all who have done you wrong. It is time to clear your karmic cycles and move forward. Cut those ties to your negative thought patterns 
and cut the ties to those negative people that keep bringing you down and those people who keep sucking your life force energy out of you and expect you to keep giving them and giving them it is time to step into your own power and be the sovereign being that you are meant to be you are a divine source creation treat yourself as such now I'm going to read you a poem from my book The Age of Poetic Intent Home Calls I wake up and you're calling my name I hear it in the dust Traveling through the wind, I hear it in the crack of thunder while I watch UFO wars. Flashing lights in the sky, I hear my name whispered beneath the impatient steady rotation of stars in the sky. I feel my name in the teardrops of Mother Earth, weeping from the deep grey clouds blocking out the hot sun. I hear the bees buzzing my name as they seek shelter and a new hive. I see my name in sand flying through the air at unmentionable speeds. And in the spectrum of light colors emanating from the scattered crystals hiding in plain sight on the desert floor. And I feel my name underfoot as I walk upon the ground and I sleep in the temple of Tham, so I can wake to the sound of my name. That's an ode to Africa Burn in Tonkwa Town. Life Purpose You are walking your own path. You are your life purpose. No one else can tell you what you are doing, what you are meant to be doing, where you are meant to be going, and what is next on your path in your life's journey. You were born with a purpose. And you will fulfill your purpose no matter what happens on this planet. As long as you stick to your heart, allow your heart to guide you, follow your intuition, see with your inner eye your destined destination. And your life purpose is everything that you are. So don't think for a moment that you have moved off path. You haven't. You are learning different things all of the time. So some of us might veer to the side, veer to that side. We have to try all these different things. We have to be all these different things to learn from it and come back into center and remain on our life purpose. So never in our lives have we ever not been doing what we meant to do. So get rid of all your guilt and regrets and forgive yourself. Because you are walking your true life purpose at this very moment. And you know that. Your soul knows that. Just allow your soul to speak to you. Connect your consciousness to your subconscious. Allow the two to tango. Allow them to talk to each other. And get all the information that you need. So that you can walk your life's journey in the best way possible for you uniquely as you, no one else. Let's see what the runes have to say. Dear beautiful magical stones, please tell us what the universe would like to tell us right now. Ingwals. This in runes is the letter IG. The meaning of this, this stone is Ing, which means the earth god. And the meaning is fertility gestation, internal growth, and new life. You are being born into your new self, into the self that is carrying out your life purpose. You are transforming, you are transmuting, you are becoming the you that you've always meant to be. You are fertile in thought, action, and deed. Perhaps even fertile for the growing expansion of the population. There is a new life brewing inside of you and it's waiting to come out. It needs your voice to express itself through you. This new life is your soul, your higher self that just hangs out over there. It's coming inside of you now. It's settling into your heart now. Close your eyes with me. 
Imagine all aspects of yourself, all over the globe, all over the cosmos, throughout time, throughout space, throughout all different dimensions and realities. See every aspect of yourself as a shining ball of light, whatever color you choose, sparkling and shining, waiting for you to call it back home. Now put your hands on your heart and repeat after me. I call all aspects of myself, past, present, future, in all dimensional realities, in all states of being, in all lifetimes, in every version of now, I call all soul aspects back into this vessel that is me, into my heart space now. I repeat, I call all aspects of my soul, past, present and future, in all dimensional realities, in all timelines, in all dimensions, back into this vessel that is me, into my heart space now. I repeat, I call all aspects of my soul, in all dimensional realities, in all timelines, in all spaces and places, and all realities. I call you all into my vessel that is me in this current now moment in my heart space now. And so it is, it is done. If you do that, every day for 21 days, because that's the amount of time it takes to change your brain, um, you will notice you are going to have different new skills coming online that you never thought you would have. And you'll have memories of past lives coming in and a greater understanding of the whole. So basically, this reading is all about you finding your true divinity, finding your true, true north, you are your life purpose. You need to play, play, play with the elementals. In the elements, in the sun, in the rain, in the sleet, in the hail, in the thunderstorms, in the water, in the forests, in the mountains, in the rivers. Just play. We are on this earth to enjoy it and not to work so hard. And all the work that we have been doing thus far will be rewarded as long as we persevere and stick to our goals and remember that we are sovereign beings. Thank you for taking the time to learn about your present now moment and what is to come for you in the days to come. And Namaste.